Let's now tell you about an epidemic plaguing the UK. This story is not about the Wuhan virus. It's about the menace of shoplifting. Recently, hundreds of teenagers attempted a mass robbery. Reports say at least 34 teenagers have been given dispersal orders and nine have been arrested for offences like going equipped to steal. Although studies show that such thefts have doubled since the year 2017, the number of people being charged has collapsed. And experts are criticizing the government for taking shoplifting and theft too lightly. What really has led to the rise in such activities? Our next report getting you the complete story. Chaos on the street. Several people running. Police arresting suspects. These scenes are from London's Oxford Street. Where several people gathered to rob a sports store. Believe it or not, the people were invited through social media. They wanted to replicate a looting spree that happened last year in response to the mass robbery attempt. The Metropolitan Police say that anyone committing a crime can expect to be dealt with robustly. The UK is facing a rise in shoplifting and theft cases. Reports say that over the past 13 years, the Tory government has in effect decriminalised most shoplifting, mugging, theft, robbery and minor assault. The British Retail Consortium, which represents 70% of Britain's retailers, says that theft incidents have doubled since 2017 and now stand at 8 million a year. But on the other hand, the number of people being charged has fallen drastically. A decade ago, 80,000 people were being punished in a year, but last year, only 21,000 people were charged. Critics say that the government is taking shoplifting and theft too lightly, and they may not be wrong. In 2014, shoplifting was redefined as the stealing of less than nearly $255 worth of goods. What was the punishment? Close to $90, that's all. And those who plead guilty can pay the fine through post. They don't even have to visit the court. This could be a sign that the authorities did not find the crime worth an investigation. Shops and supermarkets are desperately trying to keep their establishment safe. A supermarket chain called Waitrose is offering free hot drinks to the police. Why? So that shoplifters and robbers think twice before making an attempt. Otherwise, in the absence of the police, shop staff have to face robbers themselves. Critics have questioned the Home Secretary, Suela Braverman. They are calling it acute political hypocrisy on her part. Because she called out the US for the rising shoplifting and theft cases there. Shouldn't Braverman focus on what's happening in the UK before pointing fingers at the US? Allowing fear and suspicion is opposite to what the Conservatives say they stand for. It can reward lawlessness, encourage criminal networks and make diligent citizens feel foolish for abiding by the law. Although Braverman has called for hunting down and locking up the criminals, experts say it's not possible till more police personnel are physically present. The police will need to protect the suburban high streets, which have now become easy targets, and the UK needs to control this epidemic before it becomes deadlier. Bureau Report, We On, Wild is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.